Alright guys, what's good? It's Volume here, bringing you my first battle ever on Wi-Fi in the WPF Delta League, season 15 of WPF, but only the second season of Delta. And I have my audio set high, because I, I, hopefully it's not terrible, and I'm going to be really louder, a lot louder than the music, but... Anyway, I was not prepared because I didn't realize how this worked. He's already got his lead selected. Um, but we gotta take notes and shit. And I want to make sure I have the, the tools to do that. So, oh, fuck. I'm not gonna be the most prepared, aren't I? I wonder how prepared he is. So he brought the Great Tusk, the Odrapon, Cinderace, Azelf, Vaporeon, Raging Bolt. Now, I don't remember what I want to lead. Hmm. Ugh, I guess I'm just gonna leave Greninja. I did this in, the, in my mock, I got owned. So hopefully we don't get owned. Uh, I'm also worried about disconnecting, but I don't think that'll happen. If it does, we'll just cry. So, and we, we do have a, a post-match. I wonder if it's sent out at random league because I didn't click the done button. We'll see if that affects me. Uh, he's got a cool picture. I don't have a cool picture. I haven't been in the game, guys. Jumping Jade. Oh, he's nicknamed. He's a lot of Ogre Pond. I like Greninja. I got owned in this situation. This is exactly what happened in my mock. Uh, hmm. I don't know what to do. Also, I have a format here. I'm trying to explain too many things at once. So, uh, maybe I should just focus on the battle. But, like, hopefully the mods will be around the side updates. But we'll see if I get around to that. I'm kind of busy. So, what am I trying to do? What are my moves? I don't see. This is so weird. I don't have my moves available to me. Like, I don't want to stand because I don't want to eat a U turn and die, which is what happened to my mock. I think my best play is just a glide score. He might knock. That would suck if he knocked. Oh, that's a cloth. All right. Let's see what he does. I have to keep track. Clefable will come on out. He named his Pokemon. He just cudgels. Whatever he's scarfed. All right, we eat that. I wonder what that means. That did like I don't know how much left of our heels. So I'm just this is so bad. Cocking is so bad for me. I mean that list just looks like it was uh, a normal casual damage. So you could probably not banded at least, which is what Smot brought against me. Um I guess I don't have to take notes during the battle for the what what dies, because I can just rewatch the footage, but I I don't know. It's not that like, great information. I mean, oh, fuck, what did he bring? Uh, this is probably useful for me to see what he brought. But there's no way he... I'm gonna just T-Wave. So I don't think he's gonna... Is he gonna go Raging Bolt? Like, I don't think he goes Raging Bolt or Great Tusk. What's Mastermind? Azelf. Oh my god, we're getting unlucky already in this season? Holy shit. The T-Wave missed. And this Azelf can kind of do whatever it wants. Like, I don't really have a great response. Dude, this is so much, it's so different than, than battling, uh, I mean, maybe just knockoffs, projecting a bronze on. Or is he Iron Tail? I'm gonna Moonlight. I mean, I just set of rocks. How, how important is Clef being healthy? I mean, Cuff is kind of my suicide mon. I keep in, he didn't bring. Oh wait, he didn't bring exactly the same. He brought Cinderace, so I don't want to set up hazards. He brought Cinderace over the Tachyon Cutter guy, <laughs> Iron Crown. Uh, oh, fuck, I don't know what I want to do. Got 20 seconds. I'm thinking I'm just gonna T-wave again. Fuck it. He's setting up screens. All right, this time we connect with the T-wave. I hope I'm faster enough, faster than it to knock off. But I am Moonlight. I was, I know Swamp better than an aggressive Azelf, but 
That's not what I wanted here. Um, I'm gonna knock following this. I don't know if I'm even faster. It can't, it got power hacks. That's my, that's revenge for me missing the knocks. So he didn't get his light screen off, but hopefully I get rid of his light clay. So the, the turns are ready. Oh fuck. It doesn't show me the turns. How many turns has it been since Reflect went up? Reflect went up, it's been one turn, it lasts five turns, right? So reflect four turns to go. Or maybe that's four, three turns ago? I'm not really sure. Ah, ah. I'm tempted to do the Thunder Wave into him. Predicting a switch. I'm gonna blast though. I feel no reason to switch out. This thing might explode or something. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's go he's gonna go into something. He doesn't want to get a T wave, right? Savage Storm. I really wish I knew what things were. Yes! I got him with a Moon Blast. So he's booster energy. His special attack boost on energy, so he's uber strong. I hit him with a fucking massive ass moon blast. Um, so here's my problem, guys. I'm really dumb, and I don't remember what moves Pokemon get. So I and I also don't really know what Raging Bolt does a ton of. Like it's, its primary thing is that it gets Thunderclap. Um, but I don't know if that's like what I want to have happen to me. Uh, or fuck 40. I might just, I'm probably just clicking, um, Moonblast again. Uh, but I just wanted to see what Raging Bolt does. Dude, it's so intense having this. So intense. I'm sure, so yeah, our, our, I, assuming we don't, like, become bitter because of this battle, Ark and I agreed to, like, have a post-match. So we'll hear from Ark and see what he thought. Uh, I'm so glad I got the fucking T-Wave para. But I really wish I hit T-Wave in the first place. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. What's this moon blast? Oh, he's calm minding? In my face? He's just predicting that I'm not unaware? I mean, if I can kill this raging bolt, that'd be huge. Is this whole plan to bolt it up? Moon Moonblast again. Like, he doesn't have a great Moonblast switch with this team, I don't think. A Cinderace. And I don't know. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't be a terrible Cinderace switch here. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know if he can, like. I don't think he can Oko a Clef, and his Terror users. We were playing low tier Terra, right? So it's Vaporeon is the Terror user. I don't know if it's gonna be a Calm Mind Vaporeon or something. He's gonna be Water Ghost or Fairy. I have to keep that in mind. I typed in Azeld. Oh, fuck, I haven't been keeping track of the reflector. I don't even know what turn it is. Fuck, I, I, I mean, I hope. Let me think. So, reflect. He got parried. He swapped. I hit him again. This is the last turn of reflect, I think. If it doesn't say it disappeared, that means there's one more after this turn. Wait, he, what is he doing? Did he predict me to switch, or did he run out of time? I'm assuming he ran out of time, and because like I think this is Ark's first Wi-Fi battle, also, so like he's probably nervous as hell too. So, all right, um, Cleffable kills Raging Bolt. Uh, can I strike through pretty easily? It's kind of harder to strike through in docks. Um. Goes in the ace. Hmm. All right, so Bolt is dead. That's huge. I don't actually know how huge that is. Like, I, <laughs> I'm not really sure. All right, let's look and see what our squad is. I mean, ace, I think my play is Glyscore every time. But I, I have a little time to like fuck around, so I'm gonna fuck around, right? I have nothing to hit this ace. So like, I, I would have to T-wave it and then that's my whole plan. I don't know, unless he's banded. Oh no, maybe Cinderace, Cinderace gets gunk shot or something? Oh man. 
I'm running out of time, guys. I'm gonna fucking big dick T wave this thing. I'm gonna eat a pyro ball, but I should eat those. That's so much damage. It is banned. That makes sense. But I mean, Raging Bolt is dead, so like that's like the primary thing Cluffable is here for. I don't know why he sent it. I don't know why he thought I could one bone Cluffable. I, I'm a little confused about. But maybe I just maybe something didn't go his way, or he planned to have light screen up or something. I don't know why. I went There's so many things. You didn't go for a reflect. Whatever. Now is not the time to be questioning his play. Now is the time to be switching to Glide Score. Probably. Or just show me the timers here. Um, I feel like that has to be banded, right? I, mean, I can maybe make a ballsy play if it's banded. Maybe I could go Blaziken here. I'm just gonna go Glyscore. I'm too afraid. And also this would get Glyscore a free turn to get its Toxic Orb. I don't think this thing can knock off. But I don't know, maybe I'm just juiced. Wow, I can't believe this. It looked like it was praying. All right, it's another power ball. But I got my Toxic Orb. Hmm. I I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Cause he might just go to A's Elf. I mean, let's see how much that did, that did like pretty much close to 50 to Glyzgar. Maybe that was a low roll if he's banded. I'm not convinced that he's banded though. I'm gonna protect. Fever Drew, fuck. <laughs> I should have hard switched. Is that Vaporeon? Um, I'm gonna die from a fucking Scald if I... Uh, I don't want to give this thing a free turn. This thing could set up on me and be really scary. What do I even go into versus this? I mean, Bronzong I can play more aggressively. I feel like my play is Sinistra though. I mean, do I really want to go into Sinistra this early? 30 seconds on the move timer, so it gives me a little warning. Ooh, oh God, this is tough. Dude, I'm not, also not used to playing with this fast of a timer. I mean, this thing could turn ghost and that would be really bad for me. So let's go, Sinitra. I, I said, like, I didn't fully explain my thought, but hopefully you got that. Um, Bronsong ain't touching. This thing. He's Surf Vaporeon. Interesting. <laughs> I mean... Maybe Sinistra can do its thing? I mean, he might have, uh... I don't know how much that Surf did. Uh, I don't know how to do math, guys. Uh, where's my free calcs from Showdown? Mwah! <laughs> Uh, I'm probably so loud, by the way. Uh, I apologize. I didn't really have time to mess with audio. I just wanted to make sure I was heard, uh, and I thought that was more important. If I was muttering and it was impossible to hear me, I felt like that would be worse. So hopefully, or maybe I just maybe I'm also muttering right now. Anyway, I'm just gonna calm mind. He's tearing. What's his Terra? Ghost. Yeah. I wonder if this thing hits me really hard with a Shadow Ball. Do I want to be Grass-type for anything? I mean, unless I get murdered right here, it's possible. I'm faster than it. Interesting. This would help me not get absolutely murdered by this. But of course he gets his spadef drop, which makes me not able to sustain this at all because I would, have, I would hit him right back with the shadow ball, but 
I might die the following turn, and that'd suck, but I mean, I'm kind of fucked at this position. I was in a position where I could have just uh, healed on him, probably. Uh, no, I don't know if I could have healed on him, but I mean, I could have healed and then got Fairy Shadow Ball. Uh, alright. Let's just, I don't know what his fucking side is, so this could be gamble as fuck, but let's say he's a ghost type. I'm plus one. This sucks. Just getting the Shadow Ball drop sucks ass. But I think, I think Blazing didn't, didn't do really well if this thing is chunked, so I'm gonna chunk it. I think that's my play. I don't know if that's, I'm, uh, that might be a time, a lack of time play, but. I kinda, I don't really have a normal type to switch into this, so. I could have switched out Terra out of Fairy, I guess. I might have been Terra. I might have was Terra, but whatever. Uh, misplayed by me. I think this is free real estate for Greninja, though. So this thing looks to be spit def special defensive. Hmm. I mean, Greninja switches in on both of its stabs anyway. So let's go, Greninja. Now he doesn't know if I'm battle button or not. Uh, I wish I got a spin-off job. <laughs> I wish I was the one who got the hacks. Ah, uh, damn. Such is life. Uh, I guess I should write that. Uh, Vaporeon kills Sinus. Hmm. I mean, Dark Ball seems pretty free. He goes, he's not switching into Tux, right? He's protecting for HP. Hmm. Oh, I, I lose my typing, actually. That's kind of annoying. He might just surf and do a million damage to me. Uh, and probably takes the Dark Pulse now. I'm gonna hit him with it anyway. I don't really think he has a good switch. Yeah. Who is this? That's gotta be great task, right? Yeah. Hmm. Dark Pulse did like less than him than I would have thought, but. I don't think this thing can take a surf. And I'm gonna gamble on that. Let's go. Maybe he just switches back into Vaporeon. Ah, oh, I can't undo my move, right? Fuck. Ah, uh, this is, I, I'm a classic undo move guy. So, my first thought is the thought that's gonna come through. Let's get hyped to the music, and I interrupt it. But, he's really thinking on this one. Yeah, he fucking baited me. Mastermind comes in. I guess he was afraid that I would click Dark Pulse into him. Or he's just sacking this thing, I guess. I guess I should have just clicked Ice Beam. I'm gonna kill, I'm just gonna click Dark Pulse. If I get more Chunk onto the Great Tusks, all the better. All right, so Azelf goes down to Greninja kills Azelf. Note this on my thing. So those two, so Vaporeon is scary. Ogre Pond comes in, I assume it's Scarfed. Kind is chunked though. I mean, we're switching for sure. Oh, I mean, like, 
No, because if it U-turns, then I'm just going to get massively hurt as well. Hmm, what do I do? Uh, Ogre Pond, Cinderace. Can I get it like a boost with Blaziken? I might be able to end it. Uh, but it looks like an offensive Vaporeon. And Bronzong can't touch. I mean, Bronzong can maybe can beat the Great Tusk, but I don't think it can beat the Cinderace, uh, the Vaporeon. Honestly, I think Clef just has to die. Go, Clef, my sacrificial lamb! Yeah, he U-turned, so he doesn't actually get the kill. He was, so I predicted the U-turn, and then get completely fucked. Maybe I should have Blaziken. But I, I think I want Blaziken to fall out. I think I want Blaziken to come in. And... I don't know if I can kill a Cinderace. Let's see. I don't know what he's gonna do. I feel like that's gotta be Scarfed though. Cause there's no way you bring the Drapon in on the fucking Greninja unless you're Scarfed. So... I'll just mark Scarf. Oh my god, guys. Dude, these battles... Hmm, I can get Tusk now that, uh, Sinatra's dead. If it starts, like, spinning on me. I mean, can... Can Great Tusk 2 kill me? It's, it's close. I mean, if he's offensively invested, probably, but I'm gonna Moonlight. Alright, Clefable goes down. Or do I just want to go into Blaziken? Ah, uh, 60 seconds. Alright. Uh, Blaziken... Can it get a minus one tux? I mean, he could be offensively invested and have close combat, which would suck. Let's go into Blaziken and protect. So if he switches... Alright, the Air Balloon Blaziken might be clutch here. I almost brought this Pasho for the Vaporeon, but... I don't know what he does if he just... If this is the scout if he has close combat. I don't want to lose a balloon, because I think the balloon could be super valuable. I think I need to get a 2 boost out speed on Ordre Pond, though. He's probably sweating, because I am... I, I, maybe I should have been more offensive in this SD, but if he's close combat, I just die. But we, we I don't remember the moves. Like, Swan and I talked about him not being close combat. So let's find out if he is. He looks like he is. He's spinning. Is he hiding close combat from me? I'm s Oh, do I... Oh, this is a booster energy. Dusk. I mean, it's a roll to kill me unless he's adamant, which he might be adamant. I don't know. I don't know if this is a grief play, guys, but I just fell through my bones. He only has spin to break the balloon. So now we're boosted twice. And we have an SD on us.
I don't know, it's better if like flare bursts are close combat. Alright, well I predicted and didn't get ghost type baited. Oh, I'm so fucking genius with my balloon, guys. I'm smart as hell. No, I'm just getting... I'm getting faster and faster. Do I okay with Cinderace? I mean, I okay with most Cinderace is at plus two. I'm at plus two Blaziken. Blaziken, you're my GOAT! This is why I first picked you! <laughs> I, uh, by the way, I should do nicknames next time, and I might ask the Crash Gang folk if they want a nickname. While I'm in this position where I'm not instantly losing the game. So what's left? Um, Vapor's dead. I think uh, I missed Tusk kills left. I don't know if he has priority. I think I can fairly click close combat now though. Either way. I I'm I assuming I mean I might get owned here for doing this if Orgrapon has priority. But I don't think it does. I think that's a notable thing about Ogrepon. Otherwise it would run it all the time and I mean unless I was like fake out. I might get fake out, but I don't think it gets more than that, if anything. It gets quick attack. <sighs> the rank choice scarped quick attack Odrapon. Doesn't seem like it. This thing's paralyzed. I mean, it should just get close combated. Unless it has priority, but I don't know if it has priority. That's priority, fuck. That kills me. Fuck, I, for I, didn't I forgot this thing got sucker punch. I should have protected. But, oh well. Um, I thought it was Scarfed. What's left? Fuck, that might be game losing that I got suckered there. Uh, and click. Uh, I forgot this Cinderace got suckered, dude. Um, fuck me. Well, I could have won. Such is life, I have to let go of it right now. Alright. I mean... Oh. Honestly, once this thing's dead... It's kind of free real, real estate for the bronze on. So I still have one threat in the book. In the back. Just an earthquake. I should have spikes, fuck. Not toxic. Oh, this thing can't break me. Come on, dude! But I can miss every attack. Oh my god, dude. I, I get this but F dropped. I, I got one para hack in my favor. So, and I. Jesus. Is it going back in the Cinderace? Alright, good switch, I guess. But I really need this thing. This thing I care more about killing. So if he's gonna fucking know pyroball me, I hope he misses. <laughs> Miss! <laughs> I'm faster. I might kill. This thing's pretty squishy. Alright, whatever. It's slow. I'm faster, and that's all that matters here. Thank God for the power earlier. Alright, this thing's dead. I have a Greninja, which gets outsped by Scarf Odrapon. 
I don't know, maybe Gaza can carry this one out. I think this thing is scarfed, so I'm just gonna protect. Let me see what it's gonna do. Hmm, do I play for diff? I don't know if I'm in a position to play for diff, uh, but that's what I'm thinking. Hmm. I mean, Ivy Cutthroat can crit. How much does... Assuming he's locked Ivy Cudgel. If he's not locked Ivy Cudgel, oh, I think I can click Ice Beam and win with um, Greninja. So... Also, let me note that uh, Glory Score kills... He's, this is a messy battle. Like, I should have won with Blaziken probably if I just fled Blitzed enough. I just forgot about priority. Alright, Bronzong, Ogre Pond. I mean, he's probably scarfed, right? Like, he has to be scarfed. Let's go into Bronzong. Alright, not very effective. We didn't get crit, thank the lord. I don't know why this move, why they gave like a high damage move crit chance. That's so annoying. Makes Odor Pond like a very variable Pokemon to play against. I mean, he has to hit me with like five of those in order to kill me. And <laughs> Alright. And now that this is up, as long as he doesn't like murder me with a crit. I'll do one more. Uh, he's just going for the crit, but does no damage otherwise. How much would a crit Ivy Cuddle do? This is important to note. 35. So we're well in the range to just click Iron Defense again. Do crits would kind of suck, but I would. I think I win with. Uh, it won't kill me, and I think I win with uh, Greninja once this thing is dead. So, and maybe even Glyzgar. I don't really think Tusk can do that much. He didn't have close combat hit uh, Blaziken. Man, this could be Blaziken's moment, but instead, it's Bronzong's moment. <laughs> Bronzong, take it home, buddy. All right, he's doing no damage. He's not getting the crit. I don't think it's that big of a crit anyway. Like he needs like two crits, which is possible with Odrabon. But I think at that point, I, I think it, because I have the fucking max defense iron defenses. Oh, did I kill his tusk already? Oh, I, that was all I needed was to be was to I, I I fucking fucked up the something. I didn't like note that I killed Cinderace and Tusk. When did I kill Tusk? I don't know when I killed Tusk. Well. It's our first win of the season. We've done it. It might have been a little weird. Uh, let's quit battling. We won. We won. We, we took home what really mattered. We have it on tape. We did it. The Arizona Dactyls take down the World Island, Wolf World Island Whoopers in the first week of the WBF Delta. And that's what, we call that's what we're talking about. Let's go. Uh, let's see if Ark wants to head up for a call. GG's. Oh, I, I probably could have should have just killed him. I, I thought there was a tusk in the back. I, I didn't realize I had killed tusk, but I killed tusk with Blaziken. So I, uh, I said Blaziken kills ape when I meant to type tusk, and then I never like deleted the tusk from the game. Uh, and then after Glasgow killed Ace, Bronzong was free to pop the fuck off, and goddamn. I don't know if Ace, I don't know if Ark wants to call, maybe he's wrapping up his video. Uh, maybe he feels bad, maybe he's tilted. I don't know. I think uh, it was an admirable effort. He definitely made some errors, but happens first battle nerves. 
I don't know how experienced Ark is, uh, but maybe he's a go. I'll find out right now. Let's call him in. All right. Oh, hello, hello. Oh. Hello, GG's, man. GG's. You're on tape, by the way. I have you recorded. So oh. <laughs> I, just, I, I'm reco I, I was like, I, just, I haven't finished my recording. So I just said, send, nah. let's just send it. I don't like editing. <laughs> that's my whole point. <laughs> nah, that's fine. It's, it's, it's all good. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, that, that, was a, that, that was a battle. Uh, I was I, I kind of mad that I forgot about Sucker Punch. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I was like, I was trying to decide in the in the end. I was like, is there any situation there I can win the game? Uh, the uh, the close combat into the Great Tusk was a 50-50 to kill me. So I was really? Like, if there's if there's any universe, yeah, I was at like eighty percent HP, and the roll is like seventy four to like eighty eight or something. So it was like very close either way. I was like, the the only chance I have here is if. You know, Great Tusk somehow eats it, and then if if he dies, obviously, then it's up to Cinderace to to preserve some differential for me. But yeah, wow, really adamant. You you were you that event uh, invested in Great Tusk? Uh, I was max HP, but it turns out that Great Tusk is just a beefy boy. <laughs> yeah, um, I, would, that I was, can, really, uh, was that adamant plus two Blaziken? Am I just yes. insane? Mm -hmm. well, I am insane. Plus two. I, I, I pulled it up. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, so I sent it. I completely sent it on that turn. So. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, because it's like, oh man, if he's jolly, it's fine. If he's adamant, then he's like, you know, I'm toast. And the the air balloon, obviously, too, is just really, really. Solid oh, for I know why. I fucked up because I still had you at minus one, but you switched out, right? The kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what mm -hmm. happened. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, also, also the the random the random bullshit hacks we had. <laughs> it's like the yeah. the T wave toxic misses, and then like you're getting paired the first turn you're T waved. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, I was like, oh man. I mean, you never like to see misses and stuff like that, you know. Obviously, but uh, no, I I was just the the one thing that I'm so mad at myself. I was like. When I, I kind of just like toss my raging bolt away because I'm like, there's no way he just like lets me thunderbolt Clefable at plus one special attack, right? Mm. So I was, I was figuring, you know, it's like Gliscor is a pretty like reliable switch in, you know, he's like totally immune to like a lot of the stuff that I have to do. So I was like, I'll just rip it. If I miss, I can go into like Cinderace afterwards and I can like click gunk shot, which I also didn't do. <laughs> I was like, man, he's just like. The, the iron will of volume here is just like totally outplaying me so no that was that was really really solid on your part for oh, sure oh thank you i'll take credit for that uh mm. I, I i i honestly for the raging bolt hitting cluffable like i i was just like raging bolt is this is probably my best answer to the raging bolt right now is just the <laughs> click moon blast but then right. uh for the cinderace thing i'll be straight up i forget i said there was i was like does it have a poison move i'm not sure <laughs> fuck it we oh, ball <laughs> hey, a happy a happy <laughs> accident <laughs> To say the least, for sure. Yeah, I mean, so, so I don't know. I think you said this was your first Wi-Fi battle as well, or yes, you, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is my mm -hmm. first Wi-Fi battle too. So like this, yeah. not being, not having a showdown calc and be like one of the percentages I can run calcs in between turns. Like now nah, you have mm -hmm. sixty seconds. Fucking send it on vibes. That's what we're rolling yeah. with. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of. I mean, it looks like I have my calculator and stuff pulled up because it's like I can see my HP at the very yeah. least. But there's there is that certain amount of like small anxiety. But like that looks like it's like 75 ish percent or like 80 ish percent and i was like you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna make the play and if it happens it happens if not it is what it is so i was really really hoping at the start of the game that you'd just give me the greninja <laughs> okay, I okay, I, I have a story. I did one mock, the exact yeah. same lead happened, and I was like, all right, so I don't have a knockoff switch in, so I'm going to stand with Greninja, I just ate a U-turn uh -huh. and died. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah. no, I, I swapped it to Scarf last minute. Initially, I was, um, <laughs> I was Trailblaze Swords Dance with uh, Loaded Dice Bullet Seed and Knockoff, and I wanted to get that behind the screens, but the last minute, I was like, man, I just, like, not, that's a lot of setup, especially when Blaziken just can get over the top of me like so easily so i was like i just need to be scarfed or have something fast blaziken is so so hard to prepare for honestly but it's it's so so good blaziken is my goat that's my first pick right there <laughs> <laughs> i i thought you were crazy for picking it for 20 points but now i see the appeal <laughs> i respect it a lot more than what i did <laughs> mm. yeah the, i think we we got baited in this draft for like 
drafting like we let the 20 pointers go so late mm-hmm. so as like a collective so yeah yeah for sure the the, uh, the one thing that i am disappointed that i didn't get to happen here there was at one point god i went tusk the first time i think and i uh so so the tusk set's really funny i was just gonna fire off a headlong rush and i was hoping you'd go into like was the bronzong levitate uh yeah yeah, Unless I was I hoping up. you'd go into Bronzong. <laughs> I would I would obviously miss my headlong rush, but then I had Temper Flare. Oh, okay. So, again, yeah. I, I caught this in mock. I caught this in mock. Yeah. No, my, my, uh, my, my, uh, my, the person I mock with is Sma, and he, like, he was like, he might run Temper Flare, he might run Knock Off, it depends. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, no, I, I was like, that, because it's like you have immunities to me everywhere. It's yeah. Like, score doesn't take it. Vikavolt doesn't take it. Like I could rapid spin into Sinistra. Obviously, you know you're heat proof, but I I was like that could be like a, a pretty fire play. No pun intended. But <laughs> no, no, that that would have been sick if you got that off mm. for sure. It is what it is. Uh, the goal was just don't get six out. So oh. I'll I'll call it a win in my book. B- big big step up. I mean, I don't even know what the difference was. I didn't realize the game was over. I, I like fucked up towards <laughs> the end of the game, and I was like, surely there's a great tusk in my back, right? So that's why I kept playing yeah. iron defense, but I probably only needed to click iron defense twice. So yeah, no, you I didn't like, mean to like <laughs> I didn't mean to like style on you with that. I was just like paranoid that there was I, a great see, tusk in my back. <laughs> the, the second one, I was like, okay, maybe he just needs the damage for body press, and by the third one, I'm like. Please just end the game. I, I, I just only didn't click know. I just like, wasn't counting the mods. I didn't yeah. see the grace dots. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I understand no. that. Yeah, no hard feelings. No worries. Well, no worries at all. Yeah. I mean, so uh, I think I think you've got like a, an annoying team to deal with, like the Odrapon, Cinderace, and mm. like the the, te- the Vaporeon could be like really scary with Terra, I think. So yeah. I think I think you'll you'll bounce back for sure. And once I, I honestly I'm not a raging bolt believer, but maybe you'll find success with it. Yeah. So. <laughs> See, I like I picked it second, which in hindsight was like probably not the smartest thing. I just think it's goofy and really fun. Mm. Uh, but you know, it's like there's only so much it can do. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know, I'll I'll have to think of some some ways to be creative. So actually, one thing that I do want to ask you: Sure, was there was there ever a consideration to run upper hand on Blaziken to get around Thunderclap? Was there ever? No, I didn't. I didn't think about oh, it. <laughs> okay, because I, I I prepped so I was like Dragon Pulse, Thunderclap, Thunderbolt, like call mind, and then I just saw like a random interaction or something. I was watching a YouTube video or something, and they're like, yeah, they gave Blaziken like upper hand so you can't even priority it sometimes i was like oh my god if i get into a situation where i have to think this through i 100 percent am gonna overthink it so i just wanted to know if that ever crossed your mind or not no i felt like i needed the four moves that i had like which was like mm-hmm. sd protect fly bloods plus combat like i needed both stabs right. and i needed mm-hmm. sd to like get ahead to actually kill things for the most part and yeah, protect was yeah. this insurance that I could actually get the speed boost that I needed. Mm-hmm. And also, yeah, I was absolutely. I was scouting close combat on the test. Like I was pretty sure you were in close combat. Maybe you were. Mm-hmm. But you, uh, and I, so I was like, I don't want to get close combat and die right now. I'm gonna protect mm-hmm. and see what's up. So yeah. Yeah, no, the uh, the tusk was ice spinner, headlong rush, temper flare, rapid spin. Okay, and it was assault vested. Okay, mm-hmm. that makes sense. That makes sense. I, I yeah. thought you might not care close combat, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> it, so. It's like the the fifth move syndrome. Where yeah. It's like, man, I wish my mom could have five moves, and that was kind of the one that got left off. It was either that or rapid spin, I think. But I so I wasn't court change on my Cinderace. Uh-huh. I was like, if I get sticky webbed by Vikavolt, I just lose the game right off the rip <laughs> because uh. I'm like, I just died a Greninja. Like it, it, that's just kind of the way it is. So against my better judgment, I I left it off. So. I mean, it's tough to make those choices. Mm. Like, drafting is tough. You make fucking, it is, you're making man. insane choices constantly. Um, yeah. I, I actually mm-hmm. have a, I think I have a question. Now I may yeah. have instantly forgot. Uh, mm-hmm. What is it? Oh, so you brought Cinderace. I thought Cinderace was like a psycho bring here when I was thinking about it. But I mean, it did, it did <laughs> kind of like get the sucker punch off. Uh, but uh-huh. I, I thought like if maybe Iron Crown comes and then like it's... I just get owned. <laughs> Yeah, it was on like one draft of the team, but I felt like it just like it took a lot to to get it going for what I wanted to use it for. I'm not going to spoil any strategy for it because I kind of want to uh-huh. try it the next couple of weeks. But I mean, it's like Cinder is 
I, I was struggling to find answers to Clefable oh, a lot of yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I could just gunk shot Clefable once. Or it's like, if I'm fighting Greninja, you know, Sucker Punch does some good damage. The the biggest reason that Cinderace came... I, I mean, obviously, I can do like a lot of damage to Bronzong. If you're not Terrify or Vikavolt, it does a lot of work. But the Sucker Punch was on there too, especially just in case, uh, you know, you were like Banded Excel Rock on the Lycan Rock too. Because mm, yeah. that does like 80% or some stupid damage too. And I had Zen Headbutt for the Tentacruel. So I was like, I had just good enough coverage for like mm. a lot of stuff. Uh, but it was, it was a, it was a, not a last minute decision, but it was like the fifth or sixth one that I put on the team. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's where I would have probably put it on if you wanted to bring it. But I thought if it was going to come, it'd be court change. But mm. I mean, I guess, it, I guess it, Cinderace just has so much coverage and it's, Pretty powerful as well, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. Mm-hmm. For sure. I almost brought Lycanroc, but if I did bring Lycanroc, I was probably going to bring an SD set. Mm-hmm. And I was going to bring it in place of Blaziken. Like, that's my, like, yeah. if this thing gets set up, it probably wins. Mm-hmm. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the Blaziken factor, man. It's like you get a couple of speed boosts going, you get to plus two, and then all of a sudden, like, everything's dying. <laughs> so. I'm but hoping yeah. to no, keep you gotta, it up. You gotta <laughs> quite the team, man. It was it was a lot of fun to bread for and like a lot of fun to play. Like I said, it's like especially since neither one of us have done Wi-Fi. You know, yeah, it's a, it's a nice change of pace from looking at our like lovely showdown overlay all the time and like actually like seeing the mons do the things that they're actually meant to do. But, it's it's so much more pressure to like record a Wi-Fi battle, right? It's yeah, so exactly. much more pressure. I think I double checked to see if my recording was going like six times. I was like, <laughs> I saw, so I had the, I just had OBS open, and so I was looking at the game through OBS. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, so I just was like making sure if anything's going wrong, I can see it immediately. <laughs> yeah, not a not a bad play for sure. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I want to wrap this up, but I, I, I this technically is going to come out after this. But I'm going to I'm recording power rankings with Will, so mm-hmm. hope so. Check that out when that comes For out. Sure. It's going to come out like Saturday. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, back in time, I should probably end the recording for this conversation. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll just start off really quick. Thank you guys. Volume signing out. Uh, peace. <laughs>